Ahoy everybody! It is Saturday, November 17th. 17th. And we're beginning our first day at sea here. Or actually, second day at sea. Uh, we're not quite 24 hours out yet. So we're presently at 35 degrees 38 minutes north and 75 degrees 12 minutes west. Uh, we're getting close to the Gulf Stream. It's getting a little warmer, uh, but we haven't entered the stream yet. Hopefully we'll enter uh, sometime this afternoon. Uh, we had nice brisk westerly winds last night, so we made pretty good progress. And uh, they've, they've lightened up and come northerly now. And so we got about 10, 10 to 12 knots out of the north, so it's pretty pleasant sailing here. Uh, forecast next couple days is good. Uh, however, this some sort of low pressure trough looks like it's going to form um, on uh, Monday, Monday night. So that's only two days from now. And so we might get strong southerlies uh, veering, uh, veering to the west and then northwest. So, uh, and that could get up to 30 knots. I heard Chris Parker talking to the other boats. Uh, this morning, and he was warning the slower boats about that. And I, I'm slower than just about everybody these days. Um, um, the one guy who called in was averaging 10 knots, so he's doing 240 miles a day. Uh, I struggle to do half that. And uh, so, of course, he's going to have good weather probably all the way down to the Caribbean. And uh, those of us who only do about 100, 150 a day are the ones that are going to get. Uh, we're going to get whacked by all this bad weather. Uh, so that's all there is to report today. Um, hopefully we'll have enough wind here to get ourselves clear across the Gulf Stream and get, uh, get out of the whole Gulf Stream area before this, uh, this weather system hits on Tuesday. It sounds like, as usual, the further southeast we get, uh, the better off we're going to be. Um, so I got the big jib on. Um, and if it gets any lighter, I'll shake the last reef out of the main, and uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep pushing her here as hard as we can. Ahoy, everybody! It is Sunday, November 18th. We are at 34 degrees, 23 minutes north, and 74 degrees, 4 minutes west. Ah. Uh, we have quite variable winds here. It's um, generally easterly, east-southeasterly, anywhere between about 5 and uh, 15 knots. It really goes up and down. Um, we entered the Gulf Stream yesterday evening around 5 p.m. And um, the Gulf Stream was the usual shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, the minute we entered the stream, the winds went from about uh, 8 to 10 knots to about 20 knots. And we had all kinds of slop, and we were getting bounced all over the place. We exited the, the, the really strong current, the axis of the stream, uh, this morning, uh, I'd say around 4 a.m. Uh, however, given the, um, the, this kind of up and down wind and so forth, I think we're still in the, uh, we're still in the influence of the Gulf Stream and the uh, patches of warm and cold water. Uh, as you can see, climate change has occurred here. I just got a t-shirt on now and I'm pretty comfortable. Um, so uh, we're out of the cold. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but the water's turned blue. So we're in the deep blue sea now. It's, uh, we're not on the green water uh, on, the, on the continental shelf anymore. Um, actually, uh, we closed with another sailboat just as we were entering the stream yesterday. And he was not too big. He looked to be about 35 feet and uh, pretty much kept pace with him all night. And I spotted him early this morning off by Port Bow, and uh, now he's gone. So I can't uh, uh, can't see him anymore. Um, so uh, so uh, had, had a little uh, had some company out here, 
and uh, for once it wasn't a, it wasn't a boat that's so much bigger and faster than me that I just I just watched them sail past me. Um, the weather forecast is not too bad. Uh, we're looking at uh, easterly winds today becoming southerly tonight. Forecasted to remain fairly light, kind of 5 to 15 knots. And then uh, coming westerly uh, tomorrow on Monday. And uh, looks like west and then northwest on Tuesday. Uh, it looks like it might get kind of breezy Tuesday night. Uh, but again, they're forecasting west-northwest wind, so that's all good. Um, so, uh, so the weather forecast is still looking pretty good here. Um, other than that, I'm happy to be out of the cold. Uh, would like to be moving a little faster. I mean, we got these winds. I'm almost close hauled now. We're we're steering uh, we're steering a south, basically a southerly course, because these winds go between east and southeast right now. Um, so we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, but so far, so good. We're making good progress, and uh, we'll check all. We'll check in with you again tomorrow. Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Ahoy, everybody. It is Tuesday, November 20th. And we are at 33 degrees, 21 minutes north, and 70 degrees, 44 minutes west. So we went about 120, 130 miles, 120 miles to the uh, to the east southeast in the past 24 hours. Um, these winds picked up from the south, south southeast last night. We had about 20 to 25 knots. And so it was a pretty fun night. And just recently they veered uh, to the west-northwest, but we still got this southerly swell. That's why we're rolling like crazy here. Um, and uh, we've slowed down a, li a little because the winds have eased up a bit, but they're supposed to pick up again. Um, uh, after I, I think this is a weak cold front. And uh, we had some showers earlier this morning. And uh, my AIS alarm won't shut up because we got a ship right up here. But uh, he's, he's going to pass safely by us. And uh, let me turn that off. That's better. And. Um, so, so we're, we're making good time here. We're pu pushing off, uh, well, we we're kind of east-southeast yesterday. Now we're heading, we're heading more south-southeast now. We're on a broad reach, but these winds have veered uh, well, west-northwest now. Um, the forecast for the next 48 hours is fine. We're supposed to have generally northerly winds. Uh, it's supposed to be fairly brisk this afternoon and then this evening and then easing off on Wednesday, um, the next big uh, the next big system we got to watch out for comes a strong cold front and then a low forming. It sounds like off the uh, the south sounds like off the Florida coast. That'll be end of the week. That'll be Friday. Uh, so we're gonna building winds out of the northeast. Uh, listening to Chris Parker talking to another boat. It sounds like if you can get south of 28 by Friday night, it shouldn't be too bad. But north of 28, uh, basically the winds are going to be up, up 25, 30 knots. They're going to come easterly um, and then southeasterly and then uh, begin to ease off. It sounds like on Sunday, uh, Saturday, uh, late Saturday, they're going to begin to ease off and come southwest. Um, uh, which actually wouldn't be too bad. So if we don't get to our waypoint all the way out east before those easterlies hit, they come southwest, then we can head southeast again. Um, but uh, so once again, this, this passage is a race. It's a race against time if you want to avoid bad weather. Um, so far, our window's been holding pretty good. 
but uh, it looks like we are going to get quite a bit of wind if we can't get this girl uh, south of 28 by Friday night. Uh, seeing that we're, we're still north of 33 and we're heading to the southeast, that's kind of a tall order. Uh, the best we can do is two degrees a day of south, but since we're heading southeast, probably not even quite that. Um, so, uh, so it's possible we could get down to 29 uh, by Thursday. So it might be doable, but most likely, uh, most likely we're not going to make it. But we'll keep pushing, keep pushing as hard and fast as we can here, and um, and uh, we keep sailing our wind. And uh, ho hopefully those winds won't be quite as strong as forecast. But uh, knowing the North Atlantic this time of year, it will. Um, so, um, and now our sunshine's disappearing. Uh, looks like we might have a few more showers coming. But uh, anyway, we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. So we'll get the big chart out here. See where, so you can see where we're at. We're approximately at 31 degrees, 45 minutes north. And 69 degrees, 43 minutes west. Um, so we are just right about there. So here's Bermuda. So we're west-southwest of Bermuda, and uh, uh, good, good, about 250 miles west-southwest of Bermuda. And um, and uh, here's our destination all the way down here. So uh, presently we're pretty much becalmed. Uh, we had a pretty good run yesterday. Uh, but now we're in this area of showers and convection, and uh, it's just taking all of our wind away. Um, our weather situation is we've got strong winds coming on, on Friday. And there's a low that's going to develop over the north of the Bahamas and track up along the east coast. One saving grace for us is that the... Uh, the National Weather Service is saying that the gales, uh, gales are going to be, gale force wind fields going to be west of about 73. Uh, so we're just a little bit east of 70. We have no wind, but hopefully we'll pick up some wind. We can work our way more. Uh, hopefully we start to pick up northeasterlies, and we can work our way more to the southeast. Um, so we we get out around 68 or so. Uh, so then we're going to have easterlies around 20 to 30 knots. Uh, Friday night into Saturday, um, and then those winds are going to veer southeast and then southwest. And it sounds like on uh, by Saturday, um, by Saturday they're going to begin to ease up southwest 15 to 25, and then west uh, 15 to 25 on Sunday, diminishing to 10 to 20. Uh, however, south of 27, uh, the winds are only supposed to be 10 to 15 knots. So 27's here. Um, we still got uh, well 31, 31 to 27. That's um, four degrees. So that's a 240. So we still got about 250, 300 miles. We're not going to make that. Now Chris Parker says basically south of 28 we should be pretty good. Um, but uh, well, we're not moving now. We don't have any wind, and so maybe, maybe by Friday we can get down to about 29 or so. Uh, so, well, probably the best we can hope for is hopefully we'll avoid gale force. We'll avoid gale conditions. Uh, once we get the, past that, it actually looks pretty good. We'll have kind of westerly wind. So even if we don't get all the way out to our meridian on 65 here, highway 65. If we get west or southwest winds, we can head southeast and get out to our meridian. Um, so then usually, when you get down here, you get into the easterly trade winds, you'll have a beam reach. So, so that's the plan. And uh, we'll just take it one day at a time here. It's about 
until 4 in the afternoon, Wednesday, 20, 21st of November. And uh, we're just starting to pick up the wind out of the southwest. And uh, presently we're steering around 130 magnetic, so we're heading off in a, in a southeasterly direction. Um, 130, 140, and, uh, which is good. Um, it's not much wind, we're only making a couple of knots, but at least we're moving in the right direction. Uh, as I said earlier, I want to get to the southeast to avoid these strong, these very strong winds we got coming at the end of the week, uh, possibly gale force. But uh, it sounds like as long as we can get south and east um, and stay well east of 70, uh, we should uh, we should not be in. Uh, we shouldn't have anything more than 30 knots. And uh, if we can get down to 28, too, we shouldn't even, uh, probably it's going to be even less than that. Although that's a bit of a long shot now. Um, but uh, uh, but at least at least we got a breeze. Uh, we're slowly sailing here. And um, we've also got a very pleasant, uh, these seas are starting to flatten out. It's a very pleasant evening. So you gotta remember to uh, you gotta remember to enjoy the pleasant evenings at sea, even though you've got uh, you, you got bad weather hanging over your head in the future. But uh, uh, that's that's the nature of the beast. So anyway, we'll talk to y'all again tomorrow. Uh, we should have building winds from the north then. Uh, so but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Bye bye everyone.